So let's talk a little bit more about what Elm offers. So if you type in Elm, it'll give you this list of tools that it has installed with brief explanations about the most important ones that you'd probably use when you get started. The Elm REPL, again, is how you write Elm code and it compiles on the fly. So you don't have to write some code, save it to a file, then compile it to JavaScript and then run it. You can actually just run Elm in your terminal and type basic commands. It doesn't really work with types or strong types, like TypeScript, for example, or Flow, if you're used to that, or C Sharp or Java but you can code basic things and basic types in there. Elm init will actually generate a basic Elm project for you. So Elm reactor is a basic web server and it'll compile on the fly as well. When you're building web applications, you have to have a local server to serve those files for security reasons in the browser. The browser does not allow you to go to different domains to share you know, your data. It doesn't allow local file read access and going to the internet for obvious reasons. You don't want your hard drive being posted to the internet without your knowledge. Browser-based applications are very secure, so because of that, Elm Reactor allows you to run locally to see what you're building. Elm Make is the compiler. The compiler is written in Haskell, and it'll compile your Elm code into JavaScript. Elm Install is what takes packages or libraries from the internet, so if dealing with dates or CSS, or advanced data structures, you can install those libraries that are open source from the internet and Elm will handle what version you want, et cetera, for you. So all you have to check in is what libraries your app uses. And because a lot of that code can get very large, it's nice because all you have to check in is what you, your application actually needs. And you check in your code. The libraries are there. So if you ever used NPM in Node or use PIP in Python or you've used Maven in Java, it's very, very similar. Elk Bump allows you to modify your versioning. It's very similar to Bump or Minor or Major or even Pash in NPM, for example, where it'll up your library based on what it is and ensure checks on the types to make sure that it knows exactly what version it is. Unlike Node or Python, it's up to the author to verify that their version is backwards compatible, where Elm will actually utilize the types to guarantee it is or not. And so it handles all that for you. So you just write Elm bump instead of saying in node, you say like node version bump or patch or minor or whatever else. In Elm, it does it automatically based on the types, which is kind of a, a cool feature. And if you're curious about what are those actual changes, what changed between those two, the actual API to see what could cause an API change, you can run Elm diff and it'll tell you what that is based on the versions, including your own libraries that you create. And finally, Elm Publish allows you to publish your own libraries.